Why did you want to uh, start singing in English? What? Why did you want to start singing in English? I don't know. My uncle used it to compose in English. His name is Daniel Taubikin. He used it to talk about Bra Brazil, Brazil. Mm -hmm. So to me, you know, you know, it's, it's, it, it is a possibility. I think. Well, it's certainly. Me. I think you pr just proved it's a possibility. You yeah. Know? <laughs> Very nicely. Why do you think? What do you think about? I, I, well, <laughs> see, I think it sounded great, but I also think it's so charming when you're singing in, in Portuguese. In por yeah, yeah, Portuguese. So I like it both. I mean, you know, you don't you have are to. You're free. You can talk about. <laughs> right, you can you know, speak. I can understand it a little better when it's in English. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, that's the thing. This is your debut record, your first solo record, Lero Lero, and this is your first tour of North America as a solo artist. Yeah, it's my first time in U.S. The first time in U.S. and yeah, you've been I've never been here Canada? in U.S. in U.S. and Canada. Oh, you've never been to Canada or the U.S. No. Oh, and and what's the experience like for you? It's very, very. It's been very nice to be here. Nothing is better than um, sing every day and know um, new countries, new places with these guys, with me. It, it Nothing is better. It must be interesting to come to a, a place for the first time, yeah. like Canada or the U.S., and have people waiting for you here uh, who are interested in your music. Yeah, huh? yeah. Yeah, it's been very nice to me. You know, it's... Uh, it's a. Uh, it's it's been very very good, very very nice. I'm very excited about this. Wow, we're very excited to have you here. Let's talk about this record, Lero Lero. I mean, thankfully, in the in the liner notes, you have an English description of what each song is about, and yeah. much of the album seems to be about Sao Paulo and and the ghettos on the outskirts of Sao Paulo. Is it a portrait of your city? This record. Um, I, I always live it in Sao Paulo, so to me it's, you know, I have to talk about the city because it's my, my life was in Sao Paulo and, um, and I have some music that talks about um, Sao Paulo and others that talks about, you know, feelings, your feelings about, you know, what you feel inside you mm. and, but I think that, um, I compose in São Paulo all the time. Why is it on such the streets a and Why is it such a special place, São Paulo? Why it's 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 special yeah. to me? Yeah. I have so so much um intim intimacy, how can I speak there? Um intim intimacy. Intimacy? Intimacy. Uh -huh. Yeah. With São Paulo and I know each street there, I know each place in São Paulo, so to me it's a very special place, but it's a big city like New York, like LA, uh, like here, like Toronto, like Montreal. It's a big city. And it's Streets, a very diverse, cars, diverse city. Noise. Right? Lots when, of people from different parts of the world. Yeah, yeah. When I was in New York, I feel this in New York too. And yeah, um, you can see many kinds of people, different people. Yeah, this is very nice in Sao Paulo and y in Brazil. You come from a pretty diverse background yourself. Your yeah. your your mother is a European Jew, and your father was is a Syrian <laughs> Muslim, right? This is possible, right? <laughs> well, I, you're like the you peace treaty. See. You're the peace treaty. <laughs> <laughs> Here's me. This is possible. Yeah. Yeah. So that 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 was you know was was that interesting growing up with with that diversity of background? Yeah, because um, my father it has a personality very different, um, so different that is op opposite, you know, from my mother, from my f family's mother, because. Um, um, my father come f comes from uh, a family, you know, very, you have to talk, you have to be yourself, you have to, do you know this? You yeah, know this, yeah, right? I, yeah, I understand, yeah. And my, my family, you have to, to dedicate yourself to music, you have to do a good music, so it's very different, but to me it's very rich, you know? I like, I like very much this. 
combination. This, yeah, these different things. It, it almost seems like you were destined to, to go into music, e even starting from your name. Mm -hmm. Luisa, where does Luisa come from? Luisa come from a song of Tom Jobim. My father used it to, to listen to Tom Jobim all the time, João Gilberto, and jazz music, but um, Tom Jobim um, had, had um, made some music some musics with the name of 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 woman. So one of the songs called Luisa. And both of your sisters are named after Jobim songs too, yeah. right? <laughs> Ligia, Mariana and Teresa. And your father was a, a musician himself, yeah. right? He he released one, one solo album. That's a major collector's item for fans of Brazilian music today. Uh, but I've heard you talk about his day job in Sao Paulo as well as the owner of a parking lot there that was his sort of kingdom. Was that a musical place as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he lived in Bixiga in all his life. Bixiga, it's, it's a, um, a neighborhood far uh, in the center of the town. Mm -hmm. And it's a very interesting neighborhood because there um, you have the school of Samba Vai Vai, the most traditional school of Samba of Sao Paulo. So you have, um, 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 it's a multicultural um, neighborhood mm -hmm. with Arabians, with Italians, many Italians, um, and uh, people of the north of Brazil go there too. And so it's a very interesting neighborhood. And my father lived there all the time. Um, he used it to, 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 to work in a park, you know, but he was the, the, the owner of this, this because- The parking lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he used it to play in the office all the time. And, you know, he, he, he likes he like it your your life I think but and and your mother is a musical force in Brazil as well as an established concert producer there when when did you know that you were going to follow in your parents musical footsteps um i always lived in a in a a, a very uh, musical environment all my life from a very young age i used it to sing all the time with my parents with the friends of my parents mm. and uh, and i sang very very much on uh, when i was a child and but i just um decided to 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 go in this this profession when i was 17 years old because it's a, it's a difficult career. Yeah. Yeah. But were you But something called me, I don't know. Did your parents want you to go into music? Yeah, they they said, "Oh, be careful. It's a difficult career, but go on." Yeah. <laughs> but go on. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> and did you <laughs> <laughs> But go on. Um, and did you I said it's your fault. It's your fault. <laughs> right, yeah. So and you you know, it almost seems like it's inevitable. It was always written for you to become a singer-songwriter, but did you ever feel unsure about whether this is what you should do? Um, um, when I was um, 18, 18, I decided, in okay, um, I have to do this, but was, you know, I had two years thinking about this, oh, maybe, maybe I should go, maybe not, no, 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 but I decided, and... And I go, and I went. Well, speaking of two years, I understand that this record, which you're, is getting a, a lot of fine attention in North America, took you two years to make, right? Yeah. Why did it take two years to record this record? Because my the copro the producer of the album, Paulo Lepici, has a very good studio, and uh, he did this album with me. You know, he um, decided to 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 work with me and everything that i that i would need and 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 um in the process of this album he had some jobs some jobs to do other cds one of them it's was with 
Tonze, you know this? You know the Tonze? He was the producer of Tonze in the in the middle of the process with okay. my CD. Ah. So we had to stop the the process, and he, you know. Is it frustrating for you to take that long? To no, make it? no. To me, it was was very nice because I had time to compose more songs to decide what I can what can I do with this album. Oh, maybe I should sing this song or that song. To me, it was very nice. Are you a perfectionist? Is it important for you to get everything perfect? Yeah. You are. To me, it's a problem, but I am. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> I had this problem. Uh, so <laughs> I if you were looking for the right sound, what was the sound you were looking for? Now? Yeah. What to is the future? When well, I look to or the future. even when you make this record. Yeah, when you made this record. Um. Because this is new to us, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I... Yeah, I thought about um, a new static of Brazil. I thought about this, you know. Um, maybe in Brazil we have a, a different art static, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, a different aesthetic. And uh, you know, uh, the new m the the new movie in Brazil it inspired me, and um, and the pop music. I want to, you know, when I was thinking in the album I thought I want to do a, a new music from Brazil with mm. pop music I love it Michael Jackson all my life and Prince and I love it to 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 dance so I wanted to do a, a different album from the albums from 60s and 70s you know but you're mixing Bossa Nova, Samba but you're mixing the the older roots yeah, in yeah. as well right? yeah yeah of course I always listen Bossa Nova, Samba, and Brazilian music in, in general. So to me, I have to do this, but I have something new to to my album, I thought. Tell me how, for the people who uh, we don't get to regularly go to Brazil, um, there was a time, 50 years ago now, when Brazilian music became very popular in North America. So with people like Stan Getz and Antonio Carlos Jobim popularizing it, that was... That must be a different Brazil from the Brazil of today. How how do you describe how Brazil and the music has changed? Mm -hmm. I think that I, I come from São Paulo. It's a it's a different city from Rio, Bahia. You know, it's a different life. In São Paulo, you have a urban life. Um, you know, and um, so to me, um, I make. Um, music from São Paulo, from the city, and not from the sea, and mm. from Bahia, <laughs> Rio, you know, nature. I miss nature all the time. <laughs> so <laughs> I know what is major, right. nature because I live in Brazil. But to me, you know, it's different. You're a city girl. Yeah, I'm a city girl. You, yeah. you, <laughs> <laughs> I see, well, you are, right? Yeah, I've seen right. I've seen you say elsewhere that your music inspired is inspired by the struggle of the Brazilian people for life. What what do you mean by that? Um, um can you repeat please? Yeah, sure, no problem. I've seen you say that your music is inspired by the struggle of the Brazilian people for life. Yeah. What does that mean? You know, it's different. It's, it's difficult to say, but um, in Brazil, you, we have some some difficulties, you know. So um, the city is, um, I don't know, it's difficult to say. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no problem. I mean, it, it's, it's probably... But uh, I think that this city was inspired in, in Brazilian people mainly, in, in our life there that... We live there, and our culture, and I love Brazilians, and uh, yeah. I love my country, my people. Can so. you explain it better in um, uh, the struggle for Brazilians to realize their dreams? Can you explain it better in Portuguese? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. In Portuguese? Yeah. Como assim? Pra, uh, pra, uh, you're asking me to you say, in, say Portuguese. It in Portuguese. You can say in Portuguese. At least the people who understand Portuguese will understand. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. I might not understand it, but go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, o que eu acho é que é que é que eu gosto muito de ser brasileira, né? Então eu acredito muito na minha própria cultura 
e no nosso próprio jeito de fazer. A gente teve agora um presidente é, brasileiro que, que, que fez o governo que fez. E... Então, para mim, é... eu acredito muito no, no meu próprio povo. Assim. Acho que é isso que eu tenho, que, que eu tenho para dizer. Você está falando bem para mim. Did she say something? Did, was really she saying anything sketchy there? Is that is that okay? Uh, tell me, tell me about. Uh, I want you. I'm excited to hear you play another song uh, in, in a second. Tell, tell me about where you want to take this, Louisa. Do you want to be? Do you want to be a pop star like Michael Jackson? Is that? I mean, do you, would you like to be a very well known singer? Is that part of where you're going with this? I want to be happy in first time, in first place, and helping. Happy, 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 happy. happy. Mm. And uh, and I want to to sing my songs with passion, with you know, like I'm doing now. I mm. don't I don't want to to lose to to lose this thing, you know. Nice. And and I don't know. I I want to make this. I I want to make my life in music. So I want to to have public. And uh, but I think the the most important thing is the you know make with your soul. Well, you're doing a really good job of the 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 music part, uh, and hopefully making with your soul as well. Uh, you're going to play another song for okay. us. Okay. What song are you going to play? Fulania. Fulania. Okay, head on over there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Fulania. Uh, is the s name of the song. It appears on this record, Lero Lero. It's Luisa Maita's debut record, The Brazilian Sensation. <laughs> 